Hey guys and welcome back. So I've got a really interesting tricky situation here. So one of the questions that I got from our uh, masterclass student is, hey, you know what? I have all my customer IDs and I have different status, whether they've paid or not for different months. What if I want to know in a single column, what is the previous status? That is, have they paid for the previous month or not? That's an interesting question, right? Um, how would you solve it? So if you already know, well, Write down in the comments how you would solve it and uh, we'll look at a solution that we found, okay? So let's look at an example for our customer ID three here. So what happens? For April, they had paid. For May, the status is paid. And in May, I want to know what was the status in April. So the previous status here is paid. No, I don't have a status here before it because there is no data for customer number three for March, right? Because it starts from April. So you just have one column with the current status, whether it's paid or not, and it's separated by the months. And you want to create a column which gives you the previous status. So that's a tricky little interesting question. So how would you solve it? And we have a random data here, which is not really sorted out per customer per month, right? So how would you do it? And I'm going to say load and I'm going to give it the column names. That is my ID column called include date okay, from our resident table called temp. So if we take one here as an example, first, what we want to do is we want to sort this. This is we have the data for August, then we have June, then we have July. But what we want to do is we actually want to sort this, right? We want to sort it by ascending order. We want to sort it by the customer and then sort them by the date. And once this is done, we want to say, hey, click. I'm going to use the function called peak. And we're going to say, if you can find the same customer ID in the previous entry and if you can find them which will be the previous month then bring the status for the previous month and save it as the status for the previous month right how do we, how do we achieve this well we achieve it by saying order by id date we want it ascending asc we're going to say if id is equal to what do you want click to do you want click to peek and see if this id is available id that is if the id is equal to something that you find before in that case peak the status for that so it peaks the status for the previous entry that it actually finds right so if click finds id one it looks at the previous id and says hey there is i'm peaking and i'm finding id one here again and then i'm going to say peak status again so peak what is the status for the previous one well it is not paid so bring that status and save it as previous. I just need to drop this table, drop table. And now let's take an example of one here. Here we see that for June, the status was paid. In July, it was not paid. So the previous status here in July for June is paid. So it's brought the paid here. So that works exactly as we wanted. And in August, we say, what was the st status for July? And click peaks in the previous one and says it was not paid. So in, and it brings and gives it here. Cool, right? You could make it one step better. That is saying we could go into here and we could say if match previous status as not paid, And this gives you a really nice view on who are your customers that have not paid for the previous months. Now I have way more formulas and cheats um, like this. If you're stuck with any of your um, work related issues, I have all this in a cheat code. Um, check it out. People are absolutely loving it and check out the course. Really loving it. And um, you might even make it for the summer sale. So check it out. Comment below on how you would solve this issue. Maybe there's a different way, right? Uh, we all can learn. It would be really cool. So. Right down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.